Hi there, Parade Hackers. Many of you are still struggling to find Revit API 2025 documentation. So in this video, I want to show you where you can download it and how can you use offline version of the documentation. And that's right, there is an, an offline version of the Revit API documentation that you can download and you can use it anywhere and anytime you want. So this is exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. And let's just begin and first of all, open your browser and search for Revit API SDK. Then you're interested in the website, which is going to be Autodesk Platform Services. Click right here. And if we're going to scroll down, here we can find Revit API.NET SDK. This is what you need to download. Let's click on that. And it's going to download you the latest version of Revit API. So in my case, you can see it's going to be Revit API 2025. You can also find older versions of the documentation if you want to. But I'm also going to show you a better resource where you can download everything you need in just a moment. But first of all, once you're going to download this uh, SDK, there's going to be this kind of installation file. Normally, you run it, and it's just going to ask you where you want to install it. In my case, I already have it installed. You can just kind of run the installation, select the path you want, and that's going to be just fine. Now, since I already have it, I'm going to cancel it. And instead, I'm going to just go and find it. In my case, it's in C drive, and right here you can see Revit 2025 SDK. SDK stands for Software Development Kit, and it usually includes all the kind of resources and examples you need to get started. But in this case, it's going to be made for the C-sharp. But also on here, you'll notice there is Revit API.chm file format, and it stands for Compiled HTML Help File. So it's pretty much like a website compiled into a local file. And let's just open and have a look inside of it. In here, that's how it looks, and it already looks very familiar, isn't it? Now, let me make it full screen. I'm going to zoom on it a little. And if I'm going to open up all the namespaces, you'll see there's Autodesk Revit DB, there is, I don't know, Autodesk Revit UI selection right here, and you can find all the classes. It's very similar to what you do on, in the online version of the documentation. I can also use the search. Let's say I'm looking for the selection class, click on enter. It's not as good as the online version, but it still works. And for example, here I can see there's selection methods, there's selection class, I can double click it and it's going to open. It's also going to be very similar to what you do in online version. You find your class, you scroll through, you look for the methods, for example. Let's say I'm interested in that one. I'm going to click on that one. Same as usual, here are going to be different syntaxes in different programming languages. If I want to learn more, right here I have in parameters, this is the type of the object, object type. So I can click on it and I can keep exploring more and more. If I would want to get the wall class, I would write here something like wall class. And right here is the wall class and so on. So it's very, very similar to online version. Maybe it's just not as convenient and it's also a bit uglier. And this is pretty much it. You just download this SDK, you find RAID API CHM file, and then you can explore it. And if you download this RAID API documentation for multiple versions, here's what you do. Instead of searching for this SDK file, you can actually go and find this GitHub repository, which is from AD and Dev Tech. There is RAID API CHMs. And here you'll notice there are eight CHMs for all Revit API versions. You can just come here, say you wanted that one, maybe this one, that one, and so on. And you can download and use it the same way. Then you could come here to the code, click on download zip, and this will go download all of these versions from GitHub, and you'll have them at the same time. You could also download individual one if you want to, but it's up to you. And once you have them, it's going to be everything the same. Just open this Revit API CHM file, and you look inside and find what you need. And that's how you can use Revit API 2025 documentation even before it was uploaded to online version. I also spoke with Gui Talarico and he said he's going to upload it very soon. So probably we're going to can expect it within a month or so. Maybe a little longer. It depends. But meanwhile, just download the SDK, get the CHM file and find all the classes and methods that you need and correct your scripts for Revit 2025. And now I want to wish you happy coding. And if you are absolutely new to Revit API, I suggest you grab my Revit API Beginner's Guide ebook. It's going to provide you a roadmap, lots of examples, explanations, and in general, it's going to help you learn Revit API. I wish you happy coding, and I'm going to see you soon. Goodbye.